and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Christine Kugler and I'm currently a professional dancer on board Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. If you're wondering why I look like this, it's because I just woke up from a nap and it's time for a show. If you guys didn't already know, Ovation of the Seas has two theater production shows. One of them is called The Beautiful Dream and the other one is called Live Love Legs. And I've already done a video about The Beautiful Dream's opening night and the install process that goes along with that. Also, back in the rehearsal studios, I took you along with both of our shows and and getting those ready to come onto the ship. It's finally time to bring you guys behind the scenes of Live Love Legs and what we do backstage and what we do to prepare to bring all the magic to the stage. It is currently 5 p.m. This is usually when I start getting ready for shows. Call time is 6.30 and we have two shows at 7.30 and 9.30. Everyone is so different with how they prepare to get ready for shows, but for me personally, I love to take the time to myself to get ready in my cabin. I do my makeup and my hair here and then head backstage at call time. So right now it is makeup time and I don't do this every single show, but tonight I want to whiten my teeth. So I'm gonna go do that and then get started on my makeup. Okay, I'm literally no expert and I'm not gonna take you in detail of like all my makeup. If you want that, that could be a separate video. I'm just gonna get started on my makeup, excuse the lisp, but we might just have some dressing room chats while we're getting ready. Okay, this is reality. I um, already put my foundation on my hand, but I forgot to put on primer. Oh, Christine. You would think she's done it enough times that she knows not to forget her primer, especially on a two-show night. So I'm just gonna chat to you guys like I would if I was in the dressing room. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I go to the dressing room literally just for the chats. Like, I don't even need to get ready there. Love getting ready here by myself, but I do just love chatting with my friends and the things that are said in the dressing room stay in the dressing room. Just a little life update. There is currently five days until my birthday, until I'm 24 and it has me really reflecting. This happens every single birthday. I feel like my life has changed so drastically every single year of my 20s. I feel like in my teenage high school years, like obviously a lot changes, but in your 20s, it's like, you're actually applying the stuff that you learned like your whole life and yeah just thinking about where i was a year ago the people in my life the things i was doing like my mindset so completely different and it's only a year later sometimes you don't even notice these things are happening because it just happens like day to day and you're just living your life and then you look back and you're like oh my gosh so much has happened but yeah in the past year i've lost people that are super important to me, have reconnected with people that are like extremely important to me. The friends I have now. <gasps> Eve! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. As I was saying, yeah, so much has changed. Like the friends that I have right now, literally Eve. So many of my closest friends right now I didn't even know existed a year ago. That is crazy. Ovation of the seas was not even like a seed in my mind. Kind of a funny fact, but every time we thought about like next contracts, I don't know why I had this mental block in my brain that I did not want to go on ovation. Every time someone was like, would you ever do ovation? I was like, absolutely not. Like I just, I don't want to do ovation. I don't know why I had that preconceived notion. So I'm saying all that to say life can change so drastically in a year. If you would have told Christine on her birthday last year that she'd be in Australia, cruising around New Zealand on ovation. The friendships that she has and the memories that she has made. This time last year, I was still on Odyssey of the Seas and I hadn't even crossed over to the Med yet, so I didn't have any of my Europe memories. I reconnected with one of my absolute best friends in the world. Just my trip to London changed so much of my mindset. I think this time last year, I had maybe a couple hundred subscribers. So even that in itself, my, my YouTube has just been crazy and has brought me so many amazing opportunities opportunities and has introduced me to so many people as well and as amazing as all those things sound there's also like so much negative that has gone along with all of that I think that's where the mindset switch kicks in because I'm putting my tape on for my eye makeup so just ignore that with all those like positive things and obviously me quoting the highlights there has been so much heartbreak and hardships and like really big mental shifts that I've had to make in the past year I'm saying all that to say 
we need to give ourselves credit because we have come a lot farther than we think we do especially when we're living everyday life day to day sometimes it's really good to reflect and see how far you've come and honestly it makes me so excited for when i'm 25 next year and i want to see how much i've grown in the next year and the friendships and memories that i'll make while i'm 24. i'm so young like literally when i was 20 and 21 i thought i was so old and now I'm 24 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Carrie and I keep saying this joke that we don't know what we're doing here because we're just little girls. Because honestly, it's just really weird to think that we're in our 20s and we're doing what we've always dreamed of doing and we're here. Like, we're in New Zealand. Like, what in the world is going on? How did we get here? I was like 15 yesterday. And with that, honestly, comes so much imposter syndrome. I was just listening to a podcast of um, Emma Chamberlain speaking about imposter syndrome and obviously there are so many worse things you could have but imposter syndrome brings so much anxiety of not feeling like you're meant to be in certain places but at the same time I do feel like I'm meant to be here but there are many days I wake up and I just don't even understand how I got here left Sydney Australia yesterday and I'm just in the middle of the ocean like that's so weird to comprehend so sometimes I just don't think that deep about it because nothing is that deep Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this little stream of consciousness that I've been having because I'm about to be 24. Yeah, all right, let's finish up this makeup. All right, best part of my makeup, taking off the tape. That is how I make sure I have like a defined crease in my eye makeup because I'm not that good at it. All right, so now it's hair time. My hair is really dirty and really ugly, but that's okay because obviously I'm about to sweat so much when I do my shows. But hey, if you perform shows, then you know what I'm talking about. Perfect. Also, my teeth are white. All done. So basically for Live Love Legs or Showgirl on my last ship, we start off with our hair down and then throughout the show we have to put it up in ponytails and then bring it back down. So we can have our hair curled or straight, but it has to obviously look really nice. So if it's curled, it's gotta be like either a blowout or like curled with a curling wand. If it's straight, then it needs to be pinned straight. Sometimes if I style my natural curly hair as well, that can work. My hair is pretty much straight, so I'm just gonna keep it straight for tonight. I would say about 90% of the time, I usually do like a Dyson blowout or curl my hair, but yeah, it's just pretty much straight, so let's just have an easy day. And I'm so excited to have them. Ah! Just, like, obviously, Akatala, like oh I mentioned. Oh my gosh. And, oh, my of course, I dropped my straightening iron on my lap. Who literally does that? Christine, seriously. All right, so now I'm pretty much done. Alpha, alpha, alpha. Deck 10. Hope they're okay. I do my lashes and my lipstick backstage. My friends make fun of me because I don't put on my lipstick until about a minute before we have to be on stage. It is now six o'clock and it's time to go to the dressing room. I'm gonna go preset. I'm a bit early. Usually I go at about 6.25. Let's head to the dressing room. Now that we're done presetting, I'm gonna show you what goes on throughout the show and how I change. Like, what is my track in this show? First, I start off with opening, which is right here. Put that on. Then, this is desnudite, the second number of the show. First two numbers of the show, I get ready right here in the dressing room. When I finish desnudite, I end up on stage right and I change there. So let's head over to stage right. 
<laughs> That's buggy. That's buggy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I just knocked your shoe out of the way. Let me. That's okay. <laughs> Let me just put that back for you. Hey. 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 This is my Tina costume. Let me just show you my Kylie costume really quick. They look similar in just different colors. But my Tina costume comes first, so I put that on with these bottoms, change into my gold shoes, come back in here, get ready for Kylie, which the bottoms also look identical, but in different colors. This is my Kylie backpack. She's really pretty. Then we head back in here. I put on my finale costume, which is the same as my opening costume. Then put this on top, which is my run the world costume on. Put on my shoes, run back in here, get ready for finale. It's the quickest change. Lock it's knows. the quickest change. It's the quickest change. Put back on my opening costume. Head over here, headpiece. Oh my God. Grab the little feather, run over here. Clip it on here, put that on. <laughs> Talking about my finale change. Put it on, now. Run, gloves on, neck piece on, run, 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 start finale. And that is the whole show. Hey. Hi. I'm making a video. Oh my god, hi everyone. This is my favorite little dance captain. You guys know her already. End of the day, men just, they don't know they anything. They don't know anything. My new favorite quote about men. <laughs> they're three until they're 33 and then they turn four. That is such and a so good And so accurate. Ryan, if you watch this, I love you, but... Ryan, if you're watching this, take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Father Nature. Oh, you let's go. I'm gonna be ready in three, two, one. Ready for the show. Let's go. Quick change in for just do today. Oh, here we go. Now I'm just gonna go get my backpack and let's go. Now it's time for Tina. I gotta put my hair up for that. I put my costumes ready for next show. Bring that to where it's gotta go for a finale. Time for Tina. Word. Don't like it. All right, run this world. Run it. Run the web. Girls. Finish the show. So, how do you feel, see. Cassie Bell? <laughs> Mesmerized. Oh, good word. No, but I was gonna say, after every show, we have to wear like the, the head pieces, so half the makeup stays on, and from about here, comes off. Hair looks like we jumped in the pool. Yeah. And Tati's boyfriend was in the audience. He was. He was so happy. And Eve. And Eve's Eve boyfriend. And a lot of family was on. So much family. Killed it. How do you feel? I feel great. Too much adrenaline in the first one. Like I was a bit shaky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was good. 
I'm excited nice. for the next one. I need a Red Bull! Red Bull, Red Bull! You guys already know me. I'm back in my quiet corner between shows. This is where I just recharge and take a break from all the adrenaline that I just got from doing a show. And we have about an hour until the next show. So I usually stay here for about 30 to 40 minutes, then head back, do my hair, and get ready for show two. Places and I'm just putting on my gloves. Let's go, second show. All right, I'll see you guys after the show. Done with the second show. Yay! Woo. It was fun today. Yeah, actually, energy in the second show is so good. And we got a standing ovation. Woo. made it back to my cabin and I finished two shows we have one more tomorrow but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed behind the scenes of what goes on backstage and what happens on a typical show night here on Ovation of the Seas I know that I have a very unique job and sometimes you don't get to see what goes on behind the curtain so I really hope that you learned something and maybe took something from this video if you guys have any questions about ship life or just anything you want to know you can always leave them down in the comments below it has been kind of hard to get the Wi-Fi to respond to comments but I will try to get to them as soon as I possibly can now it is time to take a shower get all this makeup off and get ready for bedtime the best part of the day so you guys already know what to do if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see where I am in the world and wherever you are in the world I hope you're having the very best day see you in the next video